Hey everyone, Kabana Money 456 here recording another video. So yeah, I want to kind of keep this quick because it's mostly about info, news, and um, just a quick channel update. So yeah, it turns out that um, it turns out that Microsoft is going to rush the launch of Xbox 720 because they were kind of spooked by the Wii U, and this prompted them to send to um, release the Xbox 720 um, a couple of years um, earlier than expected. So they're going to reveal that the new system at E3 2012 next year, and then the game is supposed to, the system is supposed to launch um, E3 2000. I'm sorry, not E3. The game is supposed to launch in 2013. I think this is pretty awesome news because you know something. Um, a lot of gamers are like criticizing the Wii U and all that stuff. And I mean, when the Xbox 720 comes or whatever, I mean. That's going to get people in the mood, I guess, maybe, to buy more consoles, and they'll have, like, three HD great consoles to choose from. I don't know. But I really like Microsoft anyway, and I want some new hardware from them, actually. So I'm really pumped about that. And then this shall probably prompt Sony to release their system sooner than expected. So Wii U is good for all gamers of different fans of fanboys of different sort of companies. But one thing I do um, dislike about this is that oh my gosh all these fanboys are gonna come around and just bash people just because they like Microsoft or they like Nintendo or they like Sony. And I see most of it mostly coming from Microsoft and Sony but most of all Sony. I mean these people are just so cocky and with Jack Treadin and all the vice president of Sony making all these remarks that are very cocky and like about how video gaming you can't be a man if you play this system or that system but you can't you are a man if you play our systems it's just it's just too much I mean that's I love Sony and Microsoft but those are the only things the fan base and Jack Treadin so <laughs> yeah anyway um also turns out that uh Res we have some news on Resident Evil Revelations. Um, there's a new character in the game, one named Jessica, as we saw in Capcom's trailer um, of Resident Evil Revelations at E3 2011. And she's going to be accompanied with Chris Redfield, I believe, from what we saw. And then there's also another mystery character, probably the character we saw at E3 2010 trailer, where um, he was kind of being interrogated in a chair. And there are going to be a lot of underwater um, gameplay sections, so that's going to be pretty cool. You have to like survive underwater and take on zombies or some sort of crazy creatures underwater. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the news. But um, anyway, I'm going to give you a channel update. So yeah, um, the, my channel so far has around like 1,075,000 views already, which is pretty awesome. But uh, here's the thing while I'm doing this channel update, as you've probably heard this many, many times, and this is probably my last time I'm going to bring it up because it might be annoying a lot of people, but uh, with YouTube partnership, what I'm trying to do is become a YouTube partner with my videos so that I can earn revenue so that I can get money so then I can buy more games and do more walkthroughs. And, um, you know, when I don't have any money right now, it's kind of rough to buy games and have to do all this stuff like sell games when sometimes I want to keep games, but, you know, I need to move along and have more content. Well, here's the thing. A lot of my videos, um, a, a lot of them have, like, barely any views, as I said yesterday. And you probably saw my video count jump from, like, 641 to, um, 600 exactly yesterday. That was because I deleted about, like, 40 videos that had only around 10, 5, 19, and 69 views. I mean, it was... I mean, most of these videos from the past are not good whatsoever with commentary or with popularity, actually. Nobody really watches them. And, you know, I'm just thinking, what do you think? Should I delete these videos and kind of just have, like, a new start for my channel to where I keep the good videos I've been doing lately, like my 3DS walkthroughs and stuff like that, and delete my older videos that just aren't good really whatsoever and aren't that popular? Or what do you think I should do? Because, I mean... I, I want, I mean, it's cool to have like 600 videos, but to then always think about how a lot of those videos aren't popular or are crap doesn't really help me out really, like just that idea, and it doesn't help me out YouTube-wise because partnership, they're not going to accept that if they see a lot of my videos having 10 views and 100 views and all that stuff. So if I deleted a ton of videos today, 
it would probably affect, oh, I don't know, like, maybe make me lose only around 5,000 views. And I get around 10,000 views a day, so it wouldn't really be a dent in how many views I have. But it's mostly all these videos that are just, like, crap, and no one watches them, and... I mean, I don't blame you because they suck and the commentary sucks. So what do you think? Should I delete these videos? It's a lot of them, but they're videos you probably have never seen, videos you probably never want to see, and these people are, these videos might also be affecting how many subscribers I get because they might come to these videos and be like, oh, I've heard about Kobana Money 456 go to my old videos, hear my stupid commentary, and then they're like, oh, snap, no, I'm not going to watch this guy. He sounds like a gay homo. When it's like my sound recorder back then it was like super high pitched so anyway yeah give me your opinions what do you think should i delete these videos or not so anyway thanks for watching come on my four four six signing out peace everyone please remember comment like subscribe stay tuned for more these vids walkthroughs and updates check out my new super mario bros ds walkthrough my legend of zelda ocarina of time 3d walkthrough and my post most popular 3ds walkthrough cartoon network punch time explosion and also um go to my Facebook page, Kobano My 456, and like it. And that's basically it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.